Hey guys, Tuesday, June 11, 2024, US dollar DXY. I've been uh, watching this and they got a pop. June 9th was supposed to be the deadline where the uh, Saudi petrodollar expired and some economic news came out and the dollar popped. Now I want to see if this is going to continue uh, grinding higher to uh, test these highs of like around 106 or is it going to go down seasonality wise you could probably say maybe july june july they're kind of weak you know the dollar normally goes down around there somewhere around august september it kind of gets a rally but let's look at the uh, spectrum cycle analyzing you can see that the green one is bottoming out here there's one that goes there's two that go deep into september when you do a composite of those both cycles, it kind of leads you somewhere around the beginning of June, around well, the ending of June, the beginning of July, and then you get this nice little rally to the upside. So I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen this Wednesday. There's some uh, economic data that's going to come out that either could push the dollar higher or could, you know, go low or take out that low and follow what it normally does in regards to seasonality. So this right here is an annual cycle and you can see that it gets a bump here and somewhere around, you know, the end of the um, month of June, it goes down and this makes sense because this uh, lines up with um, the natural cycles, which it normally goes down to like July and then it rallies in August. Using the uh, fast annual, it's kind of the same. This is a three year and it, Peaks out a little later, around the first week of July, uh, but then it goes down to like the last week of August, uh, July, and then it rallies up. The mid-year annual, that's uh, six years of data, and you can see that you kind of lined up pretty much here, and it peaks all the way to uh, near the first week of July, then it goes down all the way to August, but then it rallies. Uh, and then let's take out, so we won't confuse all these uh, natural cycles, the annual and decimal. You get a, still get a bump here, which you could probably rally. It'd probably be a dead cat bounce, if anything. Uh, the thing is that it may not go down to uh, seasonality-wise in July, so you have to be careful. You may ignore it and just continue grinding higher and go straight into August. So it's one of those things you just have to, it's the risk. Uh, that you got to deal with <clears throat> but that's the annual and somewhere around july so pretty much anywhere between july that whole month then it starts rallying that's what the uh, data is showing uh one again technique it said look 10 years in the past and you can see the same thing this was 10 years ago stalled around <clears throat> the last week of june and then rallied up he also said keep an eye out on 20 years and you can see that from here it goes down and still, yeah, you can still get a bump 20 years ago. Uh, but it looks like it's still dead cat bounce and it goes down sideways. So that's what the data is showing. Uh, we just got to keep that on our watch. But so far, that's what is, is showing there. Let's look at market profile on the weekly. You can see that we found support right here. We bounced off this uh, 10409. And so far, it looks like it wants to grind higher. Maybe test this uh, pivot high. Maybe here. Maybe here, value area high is a 107. Those are possible targets if the dollar is going to continue grinding higher. Just be aware of that Wednesday, there's some data coming out that could affect the dollar. Also on the uh, daily market profile, you have a target of 105, oh, uh, 105.60. You can see that it's very choppy here. Uh, but we got to take out that high right here and then kiss that. And if we could get above here, it's obviously going to go and test uh, 106. Uh, so, so far, it looks like a correction and it looks like it wants to trend higher. But we know that July is weak. So, if something comes out Wednesday that it's negative or whatever it is, whatever that it is, because the market it's weird. Sometimes when it's negative, it's positive. When it's positive, it's negative. But whatever the number is and the sentiment and the, the, uh, the people, the traders take it however they take it, it's either going to go down or up. Let's look at our simple glance chart. And so far, it's in the mobile band. You at least got to clear out 105.75. Uh, found support at the point of control. MACD is positive. Uh, on the monthly, is positive. 
you're bouncing. You haven't cleared out the mobos, but you're you're pushing higher. Uh, you're above both clouds, and you're in the cloud on the daily. So you're above the 20, the 50, and it looks like MACD is positive, PPS buy signal. We don't have a buy signal on the uh, weekly yet, but we have it on the monthly. But so far, we got to clear the cloud out. We need to at least get out of 105.35. But you got the linear regression channel pointing down here. So it's going to be interesting once we kiss that. It's kind of like net gas. We're, we're, we are where net gas is. And net gas is just at a more different angle. But once we clear through there, a uh, value area high of 105, 67, 68 could be, you know, possible targets to the upside. But like I said, the data coming out Wednesday could push this either way. So far, the cloud is forecasting negative and it hasn't turned positive yet. So is it a dead cat bounce? We shall see. Andrew's pitchfork. So far, we're back on track. This is a 50% uh, right here, and you're above that. You're going to kiss the 25% uh, now and eventually get to the uh, midpoint. So, so far, as of right now, it's not looking bad. The yearly uh, trend line, I have one coming up right here. You're above that one, so that's, that looks good. And on the uh, volume profile or i don't know i named the profile but it's really channel so you can see that we're in a bigger channel there was a channel here and then it created this channel now we broke out so let's see if we could get above this channel uh, and at least get above 105.70 and you got to deal with this uh pivot here of 105.49 so let's see uh, baby steps but so far it's it's grinding higher everything looks good uh, the month, the yearly, the monthly, everything looks good here. Even on the hourly is looking good. Let's look at the hourly right now. Yep. So let's uh, bring this down here a little bit. So pivots to the upside or targets would be uh, 105.55 all the way to 105.42 for today. Uh, can it go past that? Yeah. If it's if it got some Momo, the next one will be on the weekly. You will have to, uh, well, on the weekly, you're already there. You just got the kiss at least 105.42, and you're already at the top of the range on the weekly. So uh, bigger targets would be this one right here, 105.74, and you're hovering around the 75% uh, on the uh, yearly, which is this one. But so far, you're above, eh, you're chopping around the midpoint on the monthly, but you are above the uh, weekly and you're above the daily. So this is where you're chopping around, having a tough time on the monthly. But you're above the uh, yearly midpoint, which is 103.46. So that's good. We could get above that 105.35 uh, or at least 105.42. You got a fighting chance to get to this pivot. And this is where we've been stalling right here. This uh, 106.41 has been tough. But if we could break through that, you could probably kiss the uh, high of last year, which is 107.38, 34. I'm going to sign out. Hopefully you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the U.S. dollar.